watching Pulmonary Rehab at Home as a part of our Living Better Together COPD Week initiative. Respiratory Health Association is a patient service and advocacy organization based in Chicago. Our mission is to prevent lung disease, promote clean air, and help people live better through education, research, and policy change. We welcome you to our COPD educational series where we work to address current issues surrounding COPD management and care. Today, we are pleased to be joined by respiratory therapist at the John H. Strozier Jr. Hospital of Cook County, Gail Harris. Gail has worked in respiratory health for over 30 years. She's helped develop three other pulmonary rehab programs around Chicagoland and has her own exercise video, Exercise for Couch Potatoes. Today, Gail will lead us through a quick exercise routine you can do from the comfort of your own home. Gail, over to you. Thanks, Hannah. Hello, everyone. I'm Gail Harris. A lot of you during this program today are familiar with pulmonary rehab programs. These facilities offer exercises to people who have lung disease under the supervision of medical professionals. Due to the pandemic, a lot of these programs have been closed. Now that they're open, they are filled to capacity. Today, I'm going to demonstrate a very brief exercise session that if your doctor approves, you could do at home while sitting in a chair. All you need is some small hand weights and a sturdy chair. Let's get started. First, I'm going to put some music on and um, we'll get started. Okay, I'm using Kenny G today. Sit up nice and tall in your chair. Take a deep breath through your nose and blow it out through your mouth. Inhale and blow it out. Take your right hand up towards the ceiling and reach. Reach that gives you a nice stretch. Bring your right hand down, place it on your thigh, then take your left hand up and reach. Bring your left hand down, place it on your thigh, and slowly rotate your shoulders forward. All of this is warming up the body. And reverse, go to the back. It's important to warm up before your exercise. It helps with flexibility and it helps you to decrease injury. Okay, now bring your arms straight down by your sides and lift them up to your shoulders. And up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. This time, keep your arms up and straight out. Now we're going to rotate them forward. You'll notice that I'm not doing a lot of exercises, and it's because of the time that's allowed for this Zoom call. But while you're at home, you do about 10 each. Reverse and go to the back. And stop. Now shake those arms out. Shake them out. And do a twist. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Continue to twist. And stop. This time you're going to raise your right foot and point and flex. And, and flex. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now you're going to circle that foot to the right. And now to the left. Place that right foot on the floor, lift up the left foot, and point and flex. Point and flex. Those of you that are on oxygen, make sure to use your oxygen. Okay, circle to the right. And now to the left. Okay, now that we've warmed up our bodies, we're going to do a little strength training. I'm going to use these small weights. They are three pounds, so three pounds. If you don't have weights, you can use canned goods or bottles of water. Bring your arms straight down, palms out. I'm just going to do five each. One, two, three, four, and five. Stop. Rest the weights in your lap and take a deep breath in. And blow it out. Now we're going to do our, our arms straight down, and our hands straight down, waist pointing forward, and lift. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, stop. 
Rest again. This time we're going to bring our hands to our shoulders and press up for the ceiling. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. Let's get your waist down. We warmed up our body. We did a little stretching. We did some strength training. Now I'm going to take you through a little aerobic session. For this part, you're going to sit in a chair and you're going to march in place. Right here. And it's, today we're going to pretend like we're in a parade. And everybody could do this one. It's a simple little exercise that we just want to march in place. And it's only for two minutes, only two minutes, but you're going to get some exercise out of this one. Okay, you're going to hear the, there's our whistle, and we're getting ready to march and jump. That's so all we're going to do for two minutes. Just march in place, pick those feet up, and put them back down. Make sure you move those arms. And for those of you that are on oxygen, even those that are not, inhale through your nose, blow it out through your mouth. Those of you who go to pulmonary rehab will recognize that as personal breathing. And now there are some of you who can't lift up your legs as high, so I'm just using my heels. I'm just lifting the back of my heels, and when I do that, I move my arms a little bit more. I think we just passed 30 seconds. Okay, let's lift it up again. And for some of you, if this is not enough exercise, let's use our arms. We go up and down. That'll give you a little more exercise. Keep moving. Now, anybody that needs to take a break, just take a break. And a great way to take a break for those of you who don't need to completely stop is just the heels again. And that way you can keep moving, but if you need to stop, then stop. This is only for two minutes. So let's leave out with a bang. We should be almost done. Keep going. Keep going. You're at home. You're in a chair. And you're doing some good exercise. Keep moving. Just don't stop for just a moment. We actually have about 15 more seconds. And the bell ring the next time, that'll be two minutes. Let's do the heels. We'll finish it out with this. Okay, that is two minutes of exercise. And I'm going to stop it. Very good. Now take a deep breath in through your nose. And blow it out through your mouth. Very good. For those of you who have COPD, who did the whole two minutes with me, thumbs up to you. That was great. Now that we've completed our exercises, I'd like to take you through a brief session of relaxation. Relaxation is an important part of your well being, and it has a lot of benefits. But the one that I like most, is that it gives your mind and body a chance to take a break. And in today's society, we can all use a little break. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do, the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do <laughs> is make sure that you're in a comfortable position, in a quiet place with no distractions. Hands on your lap, feet planted firmly on the floor. And if you choose to, you can close your eyes, you don't have to. Inhale, slow and deep. Exhale, slow and long. Inhale, slow and deep. Exhale, slow and long. Slowly begin to settle your nerves. Quiet your thoughts. And bring your mind to a place of stillness. Inhale, slow and deep. Exhale, slow and long. With each breath, feel your body becoming more and more relaxed. 
Relax your forehead. Relax your eyes. Relax your jaws. And relax your mouth. If there's any tension in your neck, just release it. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your hands, and your feet. Any tension in your chest, stomach, or back? Just let it go. Any fears, worries, or anxieties? Let them go. Let the relaxation flow down to your hips, down to your thighs, down to your legs, to your feet, and to the very tip of each toe. Inhale slow and deep. Exhale, slow and long. Allow your whole body to relax. And enjoy the peace of this very moment. Continue quiet breathing. As you enjoy total body. Relaxation. Now slowly move the heels of your feet. Gently move your hands. and open your eyes. That concludes our exercise session for today. Thank you. Thank you, Yale. And thank you all for watching Pulmonary Rehab at Home as a part of RHA's Living Better Together COPD Week initiative. To learn more about COPD, visit us online at resthealth.org slash COPD. Mm -hmm.